Yo, come on, come all, oh, nothing but love and but respect, you know what we do, what we don't, what we is, what we isn't, and what we is is here today bringing you guys and girls Naruto Konoha's story, the Steam Ninja Scrolls Chapter 7, my favourite lucky number, I had to literally just think back in my head and make sure this was actually 7, that was a little bit embarrassing, I'm not gonna lie. Um, that being said, before we get into this chapter and the greatness, you know what to do, you know what to appreciate, you know what is expected, my ninja brethren, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for more notifications for content like this, give the video a thumbs up and all that good shit, but now that you have, let's get to it. Um, and we're picking up, apparently, apparently, at last the time has come, after all these years, Kakashi, you and I will have a real showdown. So we got a guy talking some shit, and Mariah's just looking on, just like, oh god, alright. What, what? It's gonna be something stupid like cards, or who can eat the most, or something like that. It's gonna be something stupid like that. Oh, okay, so, we've got Mariah on the cover here, uh, a clash of rivals. She's looking cool and calm and collected in her cute-ass kimono. Okay, it looks like we're getting a bathhouse chapter. Ah. Uh, Ryokin in the Land of Steam. This feels so good on my achy bones. Talk like that and people will think you're an old man. Oh, Tenten! Okay, hello, Tenten. You still exist. Ah, oh, that hits the spot. <laughs> I guess I'm the same way. Can't fight the liberating feeling of a hot spring. Thank you, Tenten. I really appreciate you coming all this way to deliver my things. I'm so embarrassed that I confused two days with 20. It's no big deal, really. I was already touring hot springs on my time off. What's one more? Eh, and my mother? Did she say anything? She laughed and said, that girl's always been a bit reckless. <laughs> yeah, the look on Kurunai Sensei's face there. For some reason, it's kind of reminded me of uh, Marilona from uh, Black Clover. <laughs> Scary. I'm telling you, it's fine. I should be thanking you, actually. Now I get to test this baby out. A hot spring kunai designed by yours truly. I'm thinking about selling it in my shop. It may look like an ordinary... What kind of, what kind of stupid wizardry shit is about to go down here? It may look like an ordinary kunai, but it's actually completely rust-proof. Even when used in a hot spring. Uh, a kunai in a hot spring? See, I can bring it into the water with me and not worry that'll, that it'll rust. But how often do you have to fight while you're bathing in a hot spring? Um, I guess not much. But guys wouldn't find a woman with a kunai in a hot spring pretty hot. Wait. But guys would find a woman in a hot spring with a kunai pretty hot, right? Beats me. You'd have to ask one. Good point. I better ask Master Guy or Lord Six. Please, no. You're embarrassed. You'll embarrass them. <laughs> You're really good with comebacks. Wait, is she really that sad? Uh, that was a good laugh. Mariah, I can see you'll, you'll get on just fine with Master Guy. You think so? I don't know. Honestly, when he gets going, I can't keep up with him. He does get carried away when he talks. And he's so brave, it's kind of unreal. Uh... I'm not so sure. If you ask me, sometimes I wonder if Master Guys actually gets more afraid than others. Seriously? Surely not. Master Guy of all people? That was just me speculating. It was something I only started thinking once I reached my late 20s. The same age Master Guy was when I was his student. No matter how bad things got, we were, he was always there with a smile to inspire us to be brave. He went through a lot of scary things, but he never let a hint of fear show. Maybe because he didn't want to scare us. I don't believe anyone's born brave. They summon courage either for themselves or for someone else. And that's what f and that's what first makes them brave. Master Guy really is an incredible person, isn't he? Yo, I'm loving the freaking my guy love this chapter, like uh, like, oh, dude, my guy is one of those people that's just, he needs a little bit of extra love. Hmm. I mean, what were we talking about earlier? You're right. He sure is. Almost more than I can believe. 
That said, there are some things even Master Guy can't handle. Like ghosts. Well, isn't that more like being jumpy than scared? Can't you imagine him saying something like, I can't do this, Taijutsu doesn't work on ghosts. You have a point. Huh? Speak of the devil, Master Guy. What are you doing here? Oh, Tenten and Mirai? Kakashi had to step out to make a phone call. You're in a Ryokin, so why not kick back and relax in your room until he comes back? Well, I don't know. I figured I might as well go and have a drink from the spring water fountain. The spring water? But you've already done that, didn't you? Yes. No matter how good it is, for your health, too much will be bad for you. The instruction said only one cup per day. Yo, she's snapping on him. Ah, right, they did say that. Well, but I was, you know, bored. Wait a minute, don't tell me you're afraid to be alone in your room, master guy. <laughs> Yo, is she going to come and terrorize guy? Tenten's taken every opportunity to be above someone else. This Ryokin has a history after all. Some ghoulie may, might pay you a visit. Scary, right? Don't be ridiculous, I'm not a child. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm done with my call. Oh, Master Kakashi. So, who were you talking to? If it was our regular report, I was going to do that later. It was just a quick call from Naruto. From Lord Seventh? Is there an emergency? No, he just wanted to confirm something, nothing big. Even if anything was going on, my students are capable. I'm not worried about them. Um, did Lord Seventh have anything to say about me? Like, maybe any words of encouragement or... Yeah, Kakashi just like, stop looking for the validation. It'll come when you do something. We didn't really talk about things on this side. I see. Well, that was just... Well, that just shows how much he believes in us. Right. Yeah, she, she's definitely bummed out from that. Now, how about... Uh, now, how about us guys hit the hot springs? Wait, there's something else I want to do first. It's the reason I came here. I know. Let's be off to the game room. They're going to gamble, aren't they? But he said he was going to the spring fountain. Wait, Mirai, Tenten, I just thought of something fun. Huh? No holding back. Let's do this game. Yo! My dude, guy out, yo, guy's about to be on some Forrest Gump level shit. Just doing the, yeah, he's a, yeah, the way, the way that the next chapter has to open. My man, guy has to whip out the nunchucks out of nowhere, doing the Bruce Lee. If you have not seen that, look up Bruce Lee playing ping pong with nunchucks. Right, that shit will forever change how much of a high standard you should set for yourself with hand-eye coordination. Like, ooh, honestly. Um, yo, that was a fun chapter. Nothing really happened, but it was cute. It was fun. I enjoyed it, right? But uh, that was Naruto Konoha's story, the Steam Ninja Scrolls, the manga, chapter 7. We know that there is a cult out here at the moment, so I... I assume that shit's going to start ramping up a little bit going forward, but we'll see. Um, I'm definitely going to be keen to see what happens regardless. Uh, that being said, until the next chapter of Naruto Konoha's story, or until the next video of mine you watch, whatever it is you are here for, thank you for coming by. If you haven't done so already, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for more notifications So content like this. Give the video a thumbs up and all that good shit. And if you haven't done so already, check out the link tree. The link tree is in the description down below. You click on the link tree and it'll take you to things like my Discord, where you can join the Discord and talk anything anime and manga related. It'll take you to things like my Twitter, where I post theories. It'll take you to things like my Twitch, where I do gameplays for things like this. And I really want to get around to playing some more Shinobi Striker, so be sure to share that love out there and check that shit out. But last, but definitely not least, arguably the most important one at the moment, it'll take you to my TikTok. On my TikTok, I'm currently a little over 500 followers. I'm trying to hit a thousand followers so I can go live and talk more anime-related stuff there. So be sure to drop me a follow on there, just at New World Supernova. That being said, again, until the next chapter, peace. Thank you for coming by. Nothing but love, nothing but respect. Have a damn good day.